Britain at first and know that this would help to ease the general bad condition in the North. Because of their experience with the relatives of prisoners, this gesture is gone. Every suggestion thrown out and further grievance was caused by the stripping naked of women prisoners for visual examination. No sympathy is shown for the plight of the underdog. There is no generosity shown in the release of hundreds of young prisoners put in by questionable legal means. And of course, sentences are too long. <coughs> now, I put a stress on you. Because they never seem to know anything about Ireland. When the Chief Constable, Mark Baggett, came, his first speech was, you could call it, because he repeated the phrase, let us not forget. Let us not forget, and he went on through a list of atrocities on the part of nationalists and republicans. I think he left out half his speech. What about internment? What about the torture? What about the plastic bombs? What about the harassment? What about the wrecking of houses? What about the corruption of law? What about on just killings and murders in the part of security forces. What about collusion? You know? He missed that half the speech. Where was it? I remember when Ellen, the pamphlets of Dennis Hall and I put out 33 of them over a number of years, and I liked to link certain injustices and cruelty with a name. So I called one of them White Laws Tribunals, those farces in Mount Cash. Called one of them, because of internment, the shame of Merlin Reeves. Of course, I happened to give a name to it because it was already there. The Compton Report that had the infamous phrase that torture hadn't been used or ill treatment because those who were accused on the part of security forces of ill treatment uh, did not take pleasure out of it. Now, what do you think of that? And of course, we're in Derry here. <coughs> And both Widgeries name the dime in the future in Irish history because of so important. And this renewal of internment, will it be forever linked with the name of Owen Patterson? I think it will. Do we ever know? And you might have seen in the newspaper, and you're quite aware for it because they marched in the Derry March here, uh, a letter from uh, the Hooded Men. I'm sure you read it. And we had a get together all a few months ago in Dorgan, and they invited me to it because of book we put out behind uh, the Hooded the Hooded Men. And it was just wonderful to see them all again. And what are they writing about? After all these years, nearly 40 years. Well, I'll only read a piece of it. I'm sure you know it. We oppose in turn, no matter how the British decide to implement, implement it. Well, via the suspension of license, the denial of pardons, the use of non-jury courts, and the gamut of other repressive legislation at their disposal. Did we ever think it would be repeated? We will march in defense of human rights and protest against present-day internment 
and in opposition to the torture that continues to be practiced by the British state in Ireland and abroad. Yes, abroad? Yes? In doing so, we must salute the memory of the brave men, women, and children who once marched for our freedom and who were murdered, wounded, and brutalized by the British Army on the streets of Delhi 40 years ago. We also will remember our friends who died prematurely as a result of the torture. Pat Shivers from Coombridge, Mickey Montgomery from Derry, and Sean McKenna from Lee.
30th of January, if I'm right, to the parole commissioners a, a decision. I've read their document, how they reasoned it, and what they say is, this should have been a simple case, because if only we had had that document, we could have read it and seen what it said, and it would have been passed very straightforward. Sadly, the document is gone, and they blame Patterson's office for looting it. They say sort of this is a very bad state of affairs when the a department loses a document like that. However, they go on to say, in these circumstances, all we can do is to look at the surrounding matters and surrounding circumstances and decide which is the more likely. And they said, Mr. Patterson has produced sort of affidavits and evidence of what was being said by officials back sort of in 1980, whereas they say, Marion Price has said, have no documentation of it. Well, because the state, sort of, I mean, has got better records, or not have the whole record, than an ordinary individual. We can expect the state to retain a document like that. You can't expect.